internet. My name is Tipsy Villain because I like to consume adult beverages and then play video games. And welcome to part nine about last. Okay, we're outside, still in the courtyard. We're trying to find our way to Father Martin, who has presumably gone inside to get us get out of the rain. Hopefully, we'll be able to talk to him shortly, though somehow I doubt it. Meanwhile, we have to evade the man bear pig who is out here looking for us. Fortunately, I think I know where we have to go. Just have to go up on this ledge right here. And. Oh! 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 Oh, yeah! Man bear pig! No problem! What is a problem, though, is trying to find some batteries. For we are almost out, and I do not relish having to be in the rain without, I don't know, it's just me or is there like zero visibility out here? <laughs> I have to say, like, you can sort of see we have water droplets on the lens of our camera, which is a pretty cool effect. Adds to the immersion, I guess. Okay. Did we just die? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Huh. Wow. How the fuck? <laughs> I guess we sort of like hit and broke our neck. Okay! <laughs> wow, I I did not actually know that was possible. I'm actually replaying this part. I had a bunch of recording issues. The less said about that, the better, though. Fortunately, that will hopefully mean I'll be able to get through this part quickly, more quickly, for you guys. Uh, oh, at least dying! There's actually a benefit to dying. It restores your battery. And, uh, restores you being chased by the horrific man bear pig but this is not a big deal you guys i know what to do i know what to do i'll just lead him in a little loop de loo and hopefully this time i will not die okay go through go through oh oh what's that bitch what's that you want to say something you want to say something, pal? You got something you want to say, pal? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you better turn and walk away. All right. Let us continue. We have to go through here now. Uh, what's this? So much blood in the water, I can smell it. Like putting a penny in your mouth when you were a kid. The whispers are making more sense. I'm looking for static. It's like an itch. You mean you're looking for Slender Man then? Uh, I'd be actually cool if it turned into a Slender game. Ugh. What's this? What's this? Oh, I know what to do here! Ha ha! Oh! Oh! Yes! Dance in that blood! Dance in that blood, Miles! Oh, this is so magical! Oh, it's just like in Friends! Except now all our friends are dead and we can stare at their dead butts. Oh, their beautiful dead butts. Oh, oh, okay. You know, fun fact, this is actually the second time I've danced in a blood fountain in a video game. First time was in Amnesia, The Dark Descent. And it was even more magical than it was here. Okay, but enough of that. We must carry on, as they say, by tripping and falling over the platforms, and then we die. Okay, that wasn't too bad, other than that little bit of death. This is where we need to be, and... You saw the wall rider, didn't you? Yes, I did. You're beginning to understand. Not really. But not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. Uh, it's 
better be a fucking fantastic revelation, bro, because honestly, uh, you chopped off my fucking fingers. That's what, that's all I'm saying. Hello, battery. What's wrong, pal? Why are you blindfolded? To hide the shame of losing your battery? Oh, that's a nice little effect. You can see the, eh, the water running down. Okay. That's. And. Excuse me. Anything over here does not appear like it. Okay. Hey, bro. How's it going? Okay. Reload. Reload! Nice little batteries, friend batteries. Uh, okay, guess we'll deal with that guy later. Right now, we're going to do some laundry. That machine does not. The sound in the machine, like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and see static, something else. Something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids, watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound's coming from the machine, too, from inside the walls. I know that sound. Well, I don't. So, I'm pretty sure someone just threw, like, a dismembered corpse in there or something. Don't worry about it, Miles. There's a laundry chute. And in here is, um, nothing. <laughs> okay. Can I please have maybe a battery? Thought there'd be maybe a battery. Hey, bro. You the guy who startled me before? Uh. Let's just go ahead and go upstairs after getting this battery. Or we could do some more explanation. Ex oh my god. Oh my god, just let me pick up. Thank you! Let's actually do a little bit more exploration. How about maybe? Hello, Mr. Man. I know there are more secrets to discover in here. Like maybe a secret battery down here for me. Or not. That's cool. Maybe a secret bathroom where I can go potty. No. Okay. Uh, that's a bit of a waste. All right, let's see what else is here. There's a laundry room where we'll need to... There's a jump scare. And here is a battery. That was fun. Nothing over here. Over here, we just have a confidential notice. Not so confidential anymore, ha! Huh. Okay, brief introduction to wall rider mythology for MRD support staff, the Murkov Corporation. No, this is for support mot notational purposes only. Engage in no direct contact with patients during or after therapy. The wall rider, also known as an Alp, Mara, or Shrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from him. Hmm, sounds like an incubus. 
The sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare, but has been known to drink milk from the breasts of sleeping women and blood from the nipples of sleeping men. Did you know, um, that men can actually produce milk? I saw weird videos on it, of it from some science web show on the internet. It, it, it was it was weird. A guy was breastfeeding his his little baby, but also a little inspirational, but also weird. So yeah. Okay. Well, we'll go downstairs first. There's no batteries down here, but there is another magical note. Miles must complete his investigation, you guys. Okay. Project Paperclip, Joint Intelligence Objectives Agency. Uh, Ref Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. The first paperclip provides a means of obtaining services of foreign specialists for specific assignments within the tactical services of the departments of the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization as a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their services to potential enemies. Like the commies, those dirty commies. Okay. Yeah, that actually is something that the U.S. government did after World War II. They would like tr get Nazis and try try to pretend that they weren't actually Nazis and and have them work for the U.S. government, partially to to prevent them from being taken by the, the Soviets. Um, and used for their own purposes, but also, um, yeah, well, we wanted their scientific expertise, and it was kind of horrible. The whole thing is kind of horrible. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, yes! We need to get a key to this door, and I was gonna say, who wants to bet that Vernicke is a Nazi scientist? Uh, come on, Father Martin. Haven't I been nearly here for a while? If you just waited outside for me, we wouldn't have to do any of this. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, the key is in there. We need to get the fuses for the laundry chute first. Okay. Let us get this battery. Oh, hey battery. How you doing today? And what's this say? Drive in the nails. All right. Oh. Oh, well that's lovely. Can I push him like on a little swing set? Ugh. Okay. I think there's the fuse. Yeah. I hope. Hope Jesus is very proud of you, Father. Am I supposed to barricade this door? Oh. 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 I could barricade the door. Hide from that guy. Who's about to come in. Any second. Oh, he already is in. Okay! Is he gone? Why don't I just reload? Do I hear his footsteps coming back? Careful, Miles. Careful. Oh, shit. No, oh, just wasted a battery. You know what, that's fine. I don't care. Just trying to lean. There we go. Doesn't matter, we have plenty of batteries already and we will find a lot more. You will see. You will see. 
Why don't I go ahead and put one in? Since we have it. Okay. I know he's still in the area. And I'm very glad I can't see shit. Uh, okay, no, that guy's dead. That's just a dead guy. I hear you. Who hears me? Pray for revelation. No. Fuse for the laundry chute. Is the guy gonna come back in here? Hey! You want something, pal? Okay. They can't hurt you now. Okay, he is in here. He is looking for us. Okay, and now he's gone. What? He gave up so easily. And I'm sure he will stay gone forever. Oh god. Oh god, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Gonna walk right into him. I can actually. Oh, yeah, I can hide under that. Okay. Okay. Battery. Battery. See, we didn't waste. Doesn't matter that we waste that one. Doesn't matter at all. Invite the war rider. Why the fuck would I want to do that? I'm fairly certain that it's evil. And it sexually assaults you in your sleep. Why would I want to invite it? Hello, Mr. Battery. Hello, Mr. Battery. You are my friend. You are my friend. Is he coming back? He's come back every other time I've found something. Is that him jumping over the thing? Am I just being paranoid? Problem is I can't hear anything over miles. Fucking. Hyperventilating. I saw his eyes. I saw his eyes. I saw his eyes. He is here. He is here. I knew it was good. I need to wait. You wanna... Uh, why invite the wall rider? Yes, they're all gone. They've all been killed, presumably by you. Now please get out of the room so I can leave. That's him jumping over the barrier. Hopefully disappearing from my life forever. Shit, shit, shit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Aha, missed me, sucker. I know what to do, though. I know how to lose him. We're gonna go hide in the lockers, you guys. We're gonna go hide in the lockers. Oh, shit. Where are the lockers? Aha. Oh, fuck me. Uh, uh. Didn't want to have to go through a lengthy chase scene. Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot. I totally had missed the door. Totally had missed the door. Totally had missed the door. Okay, come on. Come on, Miles. Miles, Miles, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it this time. Door is uh, right there. Right there. There's the door. There's the door. And this is where we're going to hide. 
follow my original plan. Because it was a good plan. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Yes, leave. Leave like you always do. Okay, I think he's left. Hopefully. I mean, I assume. I assume he's left. I assume he's left. And there we go. I'll just... Come on, come on, open, open. No. Well, that's no good. Well, I'll just have to go to the laundry chute downstairs. Let's we can just find our way out of here. There we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oop. Oops. Ha <clears throat> ha! Oh, made it. I totally forgot to hit jump. But that doesn't matter, because everything is fine and perfect and dandy. There was nothing down this way, was there? No. Okay. We are going to the laundry room, and then we're going to run back upstairs, quick like funny. There we go. Okay. Don't want to go to the stairs. Want to go the other way. Right. No, we did want to. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. That's not a big deal. I know that guy came out and is looking for us. Ha ha! There we go. Ah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Just gotta go upstairs. And well, now that's saving, I think I am going to cut the episode. We can go back upstairs next time. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Tipsy Villain, and this was Outlast. If you liked what you saw, click like or subscribe. And be sure to tell all your friends about me on your social media account. If you didn't like what you saw, tell no one. Bye!